Hi, this is Marco Petzold and I'm going to show you some of the real-time features we have in our business intelligence application we want. Here you can see our data model and uh, tables and relations and things like that and what we're going to show here is uh, how we are going to create a new link into the data model um, in real time. So as you can see, this is not just a visualization, it's an interactive visualization and the uh, new link that we're going to add is also going to be interactive. So we're going to demonstrate this um, by adding the customer link to the orders table. Um, there's a natural uh, association uh, and we're going to do this by showing you a co-worker screen. And the coworker just takes the table orders and adds a new link to the table. Customers, and then he saves it. And our original screen, I can see a real time update uh, of my uh, right yellow graph. And I also can instantly navigate the graph. Next, I'm going to show you another important uh, component of our application that is. Uh, data pipes. Uh, there you can sort of in real time uh, look at the data as it flows from the sources into the uh, target tables or into the reports even in your browser. So what I'm going to show here is uh, how we uh, edit one of those pipes in real time. Now such a transformation as a load project log here is expressed in our application as an SQL query and when you adjust the query then the system parses the transformation logic and adjusts the layout accordingly in every uh, browser um, in real time. And um, some more features are you can you know, set status uh, from free flow, blocked or de deactivated uh, of one of those uh, pipes. And then you can also start the pipe and you can see in the back end uh, how the data flows through the uh, separate stages um, and into the report and this is all in real time in every browser. And then one of the first features, real time features we have were the simple team chat um, where you uh, have one user uh, posting a post in our activity stream and every other user can see this in his um, window in real time. And this is solved by WebSocket, there's no polling involved and it was really easy feature. One more thing here is that you can also target a post to a certain user. Here I'm going to um, send a message to Marco. This is the screen on the right. And as you can see here, Ted's screen uh, does not get the post um, that uh, the coworker had. This is a nice little extension here. Um, another uh, feature that we have uh, is object locking. Object locking is uh, a way how to uh, deal with um, concurrent access in a multi-user environment. So when two coworkers uh, want to add at the same object at the same time, like here this as corn table, and uh, then the other user gets um, an, a message uh, telling him that this object is already locked or taken by Marco, as you can see here. But what we do here is we don't want to have um, too much security here in place, you can just take this object and in real time uh, the original editor gets uh, the message that the, the object was taken by uh, Tobias here, the second um, editor. Well, thanks for watching and if you like what you've seen, you're welcome to check out more videos on our homepage.